Welcome back to another video. Today, I wanted to share with all of you how I edit my photos on my iPhone. This has been a requested video now. Um, iPhone 14 Pro, I'm using Lightroom on here. I'm just gonna take you through how I think about an edit. I've been posting actually some photos recently on Twitter of all places, been getting some really good feedback. So if you've been on Twitter, you've probably already seen these images. If not, these will all be new for you. And two of these photos I took on my iPhone, uh, one of them will be a guest photo that I'm going to edit um, because I think it'll be fun. And maybe I'll do in the future videos where I edit your photos. I think that's also something I'm like really enjoying right now is seeing photos that my friends are posting and be like, hey, I kind of want to put my spin on that. But before we get into this video, I do want to announce I am hosting a live workshop March 1st. So if you're watching this before March 1st, 2023, um, check out the description down below. I'll be announcing uh, more information down at that link. But it's going to be a great opportunity to learn some interesting basics of photography if you're a pro or consider yourself a seasoned pro i think it's still going to be a valuable course for you because i'm going to touch on some nuances that i've already gotten some great feedback from pros on i'm also going to share uh, some of the case studies or creators that i've looked at now over the past decade um, who've had successful career moves using photography to amplify their content. I think that's a really interesting way to look at photography in this like online creator space. So even if you don't necessarily consider yourself a photographer, but you wanna learn how to take better photos, share your story through photography on whether it's Substack, Twitter, um, even Instagram, uh, right here on YouTube, this workshop is for you. So check it out. Um, if it's after March 1st, uh, check the description anyway. There'll be something I'm announcing in that session and uh, I'll have it linked down below then. But if you can make the workshop, I think that's the, um, it's just gonna be a good time. We're gonna have a good time. All right, with that, let's get into this video. All right, so let's do the thing where we launch Lightroom here on the screen and um, we're gonna edit some photos. We're gonna check out some photos here. This first shot I took after uh, getting my new chainsaw and going out to my in-laws property and cutting some firewood. Super fun day, just like being out in the forest and the trees. These trees were already felled by whoever the previous property owner was. Um, we needed some firewood because it's gonna get really cold here in, uh, actually right now. It's like snowing, it's like 17 degrees outside. It's great. We had chopped some firewood and just looked down after going at it for a while and realized I was covered in sawdust to drop some sawdust everywhere. Um, so let's talk about this edit. First and foremost, everything that I do on my iPhone, um, I usually end up cropping down to a three by two. I just like that aspect ratio a lot more than the three by four. That's like your typical aspect ratio that you'll see on most phones. You'll see actually here in the crop grid, grid, I have like part of the chainsaw sticking out in the top left-hand corner. So I kind of cropped in to get rid of that. I wanted a little bit of the flare from my shirt that I'm currently wearing right now, but I wanted to really like center the boots and the like sawdust. So that's the crop. I liked it, I'm a big fan of it. Usually the next thing I end up doing in an edit is start building a mask profile for this particular image. I start thinking about how I want to draw my particular audience, whoever's looking at this into the image. So I'll typically make at least three masks. Um, if you've watched, I think a previous video where I talked about how I use masks to make edits in Lightroom, I'll link that somewhere down below here or in the description, wherever. Uh, you'll see the first mask is up here in the top right hand corner. That's just to darken that area, um, sort of like build a sort of like, um, I don't know, not quite a vignette, but um, I actually, this is like, you'll see this in all my photos here today. I like darkening the corners because it's like remnant of like holding the film photograph in the dark room. Um, there's something about it that feels like, uh, it just feels like better than a vignette. Try it out. If you haven't tried it, try it. But I built one of these out at the top right hand corner, another one at the bottom left hand corner. So your eyes kind of draw into the light with the sawdust coming across horizontally into the boots. Finally, I just threw this little uh, mask here in the center, a little radial mask. I like doing this sometimes. And I think with the light there, yeah, it's only up 0 0.07th of a stop. Um, that is wild. Uh, not much, but that's sort of what makes the image, I think, pop and like really draw your eye to the center of the image. Kind of makes you feel like you're right there. Uh, if I tap on this photo, you can actually see what the before looked like before I put the color grade on and the masks. Yeah, like I think the corners on the left bottom and top right are just a little distracting, so I'm glad I made that mask. And it is a little bit darker in between my boots, which makes sense because I'm blocking some of the light that's able to come in there. Standing on these logs, pretty fun. So this is what it looks like before I drop that preset on. And then now after that preset, plus the masks, 
Um, yeah, I didn't do any tuning with this particular one. I was out and about in nature doing my thing. I figured it'd just be fun to like share a little update. Yeah, I didn't spend a lot of time on this image. And I think that's one of the fun things I'm trying to experiment more with now that like when I'm shooting a photo on my phone, just trying to do like a quick five minute edit and not really think about it. Sometimes less than five minutes, even like two minutes and just go, let's build out some masks, make something pop drop a preset on it. Um, and if it if it's, if it's fits the bill, it fits the bill. I think this is a fun photo and I, don't know, I had a good time making it. All right, next up image on this President's Day weekend. I realized it was President's Day weekend this past weekend. That's why uh, everyone was out and about. Um, this image was fun. I actually went to this restaurant. It's a Latin American style restaurant here in town. But the chef is, if you guys read the tweets, like he's straight Viking. He's like 100% Viking, definitely not. Hispanic at all. A uh, great guy though. I've talked to him several times. He's really cool. But he made this like carne and like chorizo skewer dish. It was awesome. It was amazing. Here's the before so you guys get kind of that feel. Um, you know, I didn't really like how blown out these tables were, especially with all the light coming in. I feel like I didn't get a lot of that saturation. Uh, anytime you're shooting food, I feel like you gotta bump that saturation as well. So here's my after. Uh, if we go to the crop again, I used a three by two crop here instead of that um, four by three or three by four. I still had the water glass in there, which I don't know, I think adds a little character. I mean, I, I wasn't trying to stage this photo. It was just like server threw it down. I was like, that's a great dish. Want to snap a photo, done. Don't want to spend 30 minutes on it, done. Once we get out of the crop, uh, take a look at the masks we built here. Um, this one was a little bit different since all the light was pouring in on the right side of the image. Uh, I kind of wanted to accentuate that and make it so that the left side of the image was just darker. So I created this sort of horizontal gradient with the midpoint down the center, uh, darken that. I think I dropped this, yeah, about half a stop. And then uh, what did I do next? I uh, then created sort of this line gradient because I already had the like light coming off of this water sort of accentuating the top right hand corner. I actually just wanted to drop off and make it even darker in the bottom left. I don't know why, just went for it. Um, and let's see, I dropped that off a, whole, a full stop. So down in the left-hand side, I dropped it a full one and a half stops, including both of those masks, um, just to make it a little bit darker and uh, create a little more contrast, a little more excitement. The third mask that I threw on there is just a radial mask, not even super precise. I just kind of like tried to outline the dish as best as I could, drop that in there. Looks like I only threw like, wow, 0.112 or 12. 0.12, that's all I needed to uh, make a mask, brighten that up a little bit. I think I threw some more clarity in there too, or may have, nope, not even more clarity. Just did that, and I think with this one, yeah, I just ran auto on this. And I think I just played with the lighting a little bit more, uh, came in here to the color, boosted vibrance, boosted saturation. Usually, typically, when you're shooting wood, shooting food, uh, a little bit of saturation, adding a little bit of saturation just helps it pop, helps it look more lively. Um, typically you don't want to desaturate uh, food or wood. So we got both of those here. That's what I went for. And uh, that became the final shot, the final edit. Um, yeah, for like a five minute edit, pff, I'm a fan. I'm a big fan. All right, for this last photo, I'm gonna show you guys the before. Um, this is actually not even the total before because we have to go into the crop, but my friend Allie took this in Quebec City over the weekend. She had some friends visiting, was out and about, posted this to Twitter, and I was like, you know what, can I, can I take a swing at that? Because I think this is like a really cool photo. I believe this is the Rue du Petit Champlain. Um, I don't speak French, so sorry. Here's the after with the preset that I threw on there along with some of uh, my masks. And um, I did a little bit of work in the geometry tool. So first going into the crop, you can see here, like the image is a little bit broader. Um, I sort of pulled it in. I really wanted to like focus it down on the street. Again, with a three by two over the four by three. I think that, I just think it looks better. I don't know, leave your favorite aspect ratio down below. Two by three, three by four, 16 by nine. I don't know, you, you let me know. You let me know, fam. Five by four, I feel like five by four is that's so like four years ago, five years ago, Instagram, right? So we'll jump into the masks. This one was actually pretty fun to do because I feel like I already had a ton of light down on the street. I just dropped a radial mask right up it. Um, I, I know I can brush. I just like dropping radial masks for some reason. It looks like it only brought it up like a fifth of a stop with light. I uh, just made it pop. I like drawing my audience's eyes to what I want them to see first with just like an extra punch of light. 
and that was a great way to do it. And then you can see here in this other mask, I just darkened the sky a little bit, pulling it down about a full stop, create more contrast. The big lift was over here in the geometry tab, which I which I feel like this is like the unsung hero in so many of my photos, like just so many photos that like I feel like would be lost. I revive with the geometry tool. I actually just use the auto upright feature first to see if it could like correct the buildings. Usually Lightroom's really good about that. It did. And then I just gave it a little bit of a horizontal shift to align the street center. So if I show you the before, you can kind of see the street is like veering off to the left. After I was able to kind of pull it in tight. And again, this is somewhere where like I could go into Photoshop. I could spend a few hours like tightening up that street, tightening up the rest of the buildings. Um, but for a five minute edit, you know, I think that's pretty good. I threw a preset on it. I didn't even really spend that much time editing uh, the colors. I, I like this more kind of like desaturated uh, film look. If we go over here, I think mostly what I did here was like shift a lot of warm tones up and desat it down. Pretty fun, pretty awesome, good vibes, good times. Thank you, Allie, for volunteering your photo. Um, or allowing me to take your photo and throw my own spin on it. All right, with that, that was three images edited in Lightroom. Leave a comment down below if there was something that I did in one of these edits that uh, you haven't done before or haven't done in a long time and are gonna consider doing in one of your edits. Um, leave also a comment down below with your favorite aspect ratio. Would love to see which one's winning right now. 2023, what's the aspect ratio for photos? Don't forget to check out the description about my workshop, Photography for Creatives. March 1st, it's happening. If you're watching this after March 1st, still check out the description down below. I have something that I'm announcing there, but if you can make it, it'd be great. With that, thank you to everyone who's watched this video and subscribe if you have yet to. I'd be honored if you would. Please be kind both in life and in the comments below and like this video to send good vibes across the internet. And we will do it again soon. Later.